what's up you guys welcome to the channel tiffany tiana if this is your first time here welcome um hopefully you stick around and if you enjoyed the vibe definitely subscribe i post home related content weekly so how i decorate things that we're remodeling around the house how i organize all of that so if that's your jam definitely join the family and subscribe if you are a return viewer thank you for your support okay so you guys i don't know the last time i've updated you on this but we did finally select a contractor to do our kitchen remodel um so we put our deposit down um, the work is not going to start until february because if anyone's doing anything home related right now <laughs> y'all know there are delays on furniture there are delays on materials all that so um we still have to select our tile that we want our countertops that we want you know we're going to change our um gas cooktop so we have to give everything time to come in um and then of course our contractor any decent contractor um you know they're gonna have other clients so they have to schedule you out for when they can get to your project today we're meeting our um designer at the tile and um granite places um so my husband and i are gonna go over there and meet her so we can make our tile selections for our backsplash and our um don't know if we're gonna land on a granite or a quartz yet for the countertops. And I'll take you guys along with us as we go to the towel and granite places this morning. Um, I wanna be focused on picking out the right thing, but I'm gonna try to record some bits and pieces. And then um, I'll take you guys along as the family room rug that I ordered gets delivered. I ordered a second rug. I'll insert some clips from last week for the first rug that I ordered. It was okay, but I wasn't in love with it for the family room, so we moved it upstairs to our bedroom, and then I ordered a new one for the family room. So I'll insert last week's clips of when the first one came, and then I'll, of course, show you guys when the new one comes today. Um, the first one was okay. It wasn't bad. It just wasn't, it wasn't tying the family room in for, to, all together for me in the way I wanted it to. Finally got all of the plastic off. So now I'm about to pull it into that room and unroll it and hope that I haven't messed up the whole family room. Cause right now I absolutely love the way the family rooms come together. Um, so let's go. Okay, y'all, we have the rug out. We have it situated in the family room. I'm gonna let y'all see it and then I'm gonna give y'all my thoughts. Okay. Here it is. It's one of those rugs that look light from one side. So you see how this side looks very light. And if you look at it from this way, you see how the color shifts and changes like a darker brown type of thing. So, I like the rug itself, but I don't think I like it for this space. Like, it's not, it's not tying the room together. Like, it's, it's not the finisher tie the room together piece that I'm going, like, it's not giving me what I need. But since I like the actual rug, I think I'm gonna keep that and just move it upstairs in our room. Like y'all recall, I don't know if this is your new video, the, your first video or not, but in our owner suite room is really large. So we need a rug on the bedroom side of it under our bed. And we also need a rug in our sitting area side. So I don't have rugs up there yet, but I need them. And I think this rug right here would go perfectly there. Um, again, it's not horrible but I think we can do better for down here. Yeah, I think we could do a little bit better. But let me know what you guys think, if y'all agree or not. Um, this weekend, I don't, I, I wanna get to it this weekend. I need to still go get gold spray paint so I can spray paint this dupe vase over here that I showed you guys early in the video. Candlesticks came, I think I showed y'all that, waiting for the no, the can yeah, the candle 
holders came, still waiting for the candlesticks. Um, and then I still need to get some dried stems of some sort to go in there. Still need coffee table decor. Still need a plant over there. And apparently I still need a rug down here too because I don't know. It's like I'm half and half on this one. But this is my main my main room that we're in all the time, so I can't be half and half on it. I gotta be all in. So yeah, I think this one's gonna go upstairs. Okay, so I think I know what I wanna do, but babe, my husband did have a um a good idea. So since we're still waiting for the I don't know if I, I don't know if I said this, but we ordered a rug mat as well to go with it, but that's arriving in a few days. So he suggested, he was like, you know, just sit with it and just make sure before we move to the room. And then, you know, by the time the rug mat comes, you know, I should have had a few days with it to know whether or not, okay, yeah, I like it down here now. Or like, no, I really want to move up to the room. I think I'm pretty solid on wanting to move it up to the room, but I do think that that's, that's a good idea because we would have to wait to, because I don't want to like put this whole rug under the bed and then do it all over the rug mat gets here. So we're going to have to wait for the rug mat to get here anyways. So I just wanted to let you guys know that I'll update you in a few days. Okay. We just arrived out here waiting for the designer. Some of the slabs are out here. This looks like, this looks similar to the one I want. It's not showing up. I think this is Taj Mahal. It's not showing up the right color on camera. It's like a, um, yeah, it's not showing up. It's like a cream tan. But it looks like some of it has some green in there. I didn't, I don't know if I like that part of it. This one isn't bad. Um, this one. That's, is this like tan in the in right. the gray? Yes. So it's more of like a, a warm taupe gray. Uh huh. So it could mesh really well with gold fixtures as well. And then I guess it would look good if you're still gonna have like stainless steel things as oh, well. Oh yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So the Taj Mahal is a type of quartz, it's a different brand. Right. So a lot of the stuff on this side is granite, mm -hmm. um, where obviously you can tell it's totally different. So this is kind of cool too, because it has a, I'm looking for something that has kind of like that tan. Can be like typhoon Bordeaux. Nothing's showing up right on the seven camera. Seven Bordeaux on the switch other, and they can look totally different. Because it's a stone, it's a rock, right? Where within a family, so like all the Taj Mahal slabs are going to pretty much all look like that. Okay, you guys, so it was absolute fail of me vlogging much content when we went to the granite and quartz place. And then after that, we went to the tile place to pick out our backsplash. It was just, <laughs> I was trying to focus on making selections and looking at all the options. And I just couldn't um, vlog well <laughs> while trying to do that as well. So. Sorry about that. We did get some samples of some of the slabs for the um, countertops. The, the samples don't look anything like the whole slab, so it's not really that useful. I can show it to you guys, but it's really not that useful. Um, I think I'm set on a tile that we looked at, so I think I did. We, we did, me and my husband was there. My husband was there with me. We did pick out a tile for the backsplash. Um, I think I have some like top two options for a um, countertop but nothing I'm hard set on right now and I have some videos of the slaps in my phone I'm looking at the slaps right on um, the, the samples right now because the samples they it's, it's such a small sample that it's just it's not a good representation of what the slab is it's, it's honestly not but so first is this this is what we're gonna go with for the um, backsplash so that's gonna be oops, that's gonna be the design there. So looking forward to that. We did see some pictures of it and kind of lined up to see what that pattern would look like repeating. So really like that. Um, here are the samples for some of the countertops. 
Um, I sort of want to go to one more spot though before I make a countertop selection because I like some of these but I'm not completely sold. This one I think is going to be out. Um, the colors are probably not picking up very well on camera. Um, but it has you know some tan in there and some gold. It's kind of like very creamy. But um, I think this one's out. This one in the store was one of my favorites, but you can't tell anything from right here. I don't know why they cut this piece for me. Um, it really is a lot of kind of like um, tannish kind of um, veining. All these are quartzes, quartz. Um, so it's a lot more tan kind of veining throughout, but you really can't really tell right here. This is what I really went in there for um, that I was really leaning towards. This is called Taj Mahal. It's a quartzite. Again, none of this is showing up well on camera. So it's, again, very cream based, tan veining um, quartzite. This is, what is this one? Hold on. This is, has a name on. So these, this is Calcutta Azure. This is Calcutta Zion. This is the Taj Mahal. This is Calcutta Oro. This is not that bad. Um, again, trying not to repeat myself, but this is just not a good representation of it. But um, this is gold veining as well, but it's much wider than this one. So that's kind of the main difference there. So these are basically similar. The difference in this one is the other one only has like the thin one going throughout. And this one has like the thin mixed with kind of thicker bands. And this one is Calcutta Laza. And so this one has a lot of gray veining and then hints of like tan veining. But yeah, I really want to go to another granite quartz place just to kind of see what they have. Because really, you know, they had, I have two of them that I want to see that they didn't have at this one that I think might be good options. We have a backsplash we decided on. Still looking for the countertop, so I think we're gonna go another place. We also have to, before we can get started with the project, we wanna replace our gas cooktop. I love that it's a five range cooktop, but I want it to be stainless steel. Um, and I would need to order that or select the one that I'm gonna order before we can get started with any of this because they would have to make sure they know what to cut for the countertop because it's embedded in the um in the um, countertops what's up you guys before i wrap up this week's vlog i wanted to give you guys an update we have finally found a rug for the family room to replace the other one that we purchased it has finally been delivered um and i want to show you guys how it ties the room in together it's behind me uh Look at it. Okay, let me give y'all some better angles of it. So here's what the room looks like from this angle. Over here. Love it. Let me know what you guys think. Give you guys some more angles. So yes, I absolutely love it. Um, hope you guys do as well. I'll give you a quick recap of what's coming up next. I've already started purchasing some coffee table decor. It just has not arrived yet. Um, I just have a random candle that actually goes on the credenza right here because I had it lit yesterday. Y'all, okay, for this plant that's gonna go back here. Um, I'm nervous about getting a real one. So it's probably gonna be a faux floor plant. I probably could do a real one, but I kind of want to start off slow and kind of continue to learn more about plants first um, and then, you know, see, because I just wasn't sure about how, how a plant would do in this corner of the room, if it would get an, enough. Like, I know it's by two windows, but, you know, it's behind the curtain. So, but anyways, I think I'm going to get a 
faux plant here. I'm gonna have other floor plants around the house, so I'll probably do other real ones um, around other places like our room, the cons uh, mm, sorry, the entryway for your area and my office. But update on this plant, you guys. Uh, Aria over here has been doing so well. Like if y'all look at a couple of vlogs back, um, she's been doing amazing. You know, we talk to her every day. So she's doing good, my monstera plant. Before I close out for real, I wanted to give you, give you guys an update on the kitchen. So here's the, can y'all see that? Yeah, I think it showed up. So here's the backsplash tile we decided on. I um, think it's gonna get, look nice on the backsplash. None of the quartz um, that we looked at the when when on this vlog we chose we chose a different one So basically what happened when I got home I started doing some more research because to try to find like a happy medium between The color and the quartz that I wanted and then the more veining that my husband likes in the quartz And so we we were able to find one that's a good mix between the two So it has kind of that tan veining that um, I want to go with the brass pools and pendants when we get them in the, the kitchen remodeled but it has more veinings so that is done as well we've selected our quartz countertops and so the kitchen remodel is coming along great excited for you guys to come along and see the kind of things that we're selecting um but yes that's going to be it for this vlog hope you guys enjoyed the footage and coming along in this week's updates um if you have not subscribed please do if you're enjoying hanging out with me and you like the vibe go ahead and subscribe okay i don't know what you ain't know um and i will see you guys next week all right have a good week y'all bye